What's going on everyone? My name is Beefing to Invest and I have made a video. It's been like 80 years again. I'm doing great. Heck yeah. Alright, so this video is about Titan armor stereotypes, the exotic ones. So like this armor piece says something about you, but this they're stereotypes. Obviously, it does not mean everyone. So what everyone would presume to be the stereotype for one-eyed masks would not always be that person you know like don't take this seriously it's not supposed to be mean it's supposed to be funny and a joke also for those tf2 watching people yes i did i am inspired from soundsmith for this video heck yeah go subscribe to him he does cool stuff he also is much larger than me so he probably doesn't need it but that's not the point it's always nice to give credit where credit is due. Now, I'm going to go in a, go in order of what the Destiny set says for the exotic armor. You know, yeah. Let's get started. Oh, great. We start with Mask of the Quiet One. Basically, no one uses this. Because, you know, Doomfangs are just better in every way. And, I mean, when you do see someone using it, the chances of them knowing what it does is low. But if they know what it does, they're really good Sentinel Titans. Or they just really like the horns. I like the horns. You should like the horns. The horns are cool. Yeah. Also, another thing. I'm going to keep these really brief because there's like 23 some odd exotic armors for Titans. So this is going to take a while if I went into a whole long spiel about it. Next up, Insurmountable Skull Fort. This is your run-of-the-mill middle or top tree, top tree striker Titan. They just like punching stuff. Melees, shoulder charges, death from above, ballistic slams, all that. And to be honest, this could literally be anyone. There's no telling who this type of person could be because it's such an efficient build. It could be someone that likes punching. It could be someone that's efficient. It could be anybody. But they certainly like punching. Next up, Capri Sting. Nobody uses this thing. When was the last time you saw someone using this? Oh, wait. Never. Except for the fact that it looks pretty cool, but that's about it. Yeah. Uh, this, this thing sucks. Like, super bad. My god. It's so bad. Helma Saint 14. This... There are two types of people. The guy who hasn't taken Saint 14 off since Destiny 1 Year 1 and is committed to this exotic for all eternity and will never take it off no matter what they do. They could be on Sunbreaker, Middle Tree Sunbreaker, Big Hammer. They could say, no, I'm going to use Helmus Saint 14. And you know, I agree. It looks cool. Like, really, it does. But the other type of person is the one who rocks bubble... Like, it's their job. They know what's up. They have bubbles every three seconds. They are using that blessing and armor of light. They are going ham. Your teammates will not die if you have, you know? It's just that good. Oh, boy. Eternal Warrior. This is the person that constantly somehow dies with Bottom Tree Striker Super and got angry and put this hideous thing on. Yes. They got angry because they couldn't get a kill with their super and died on bottom tree striker hear me out bottom tree striker so they put this on and they sacrificed the fact that their look to look hideous for not dying that shield doesn't even last forever like come on dude oh my god one eyed mask good god these people really think they're really cool like, really. Like, this is the Crucible Sweaty player that plays every we meta weapon, calls that meta weapon skillful, and then they end up missing half their shots, getting the kill because of the increased damage, teabagging, and then they're going to use that overshield and proceed to kill someone else and teabag them, and then they're going to go hate mail messaging that they're like, oh, I'm so cool. <laughs> oh, my God. I... Mm. Half the people that use this exotic really aren't even good at Crucible. It's just kind of annoying, honestly. My god. Also, Bungie, you need to nerf this thing for, like, the third time. Really. Really. This thing needs to be nerfed. Strongholds. This guy is memeing. There's just no other, like... There's... Really. 
who's using this exotic and not memeing? Like, I meme sometimes. I do this. I go. I went into a strike a couple times with randos. Like, I queued up. And here's what I did. I blocked through the whole strike and did absolutely nothing. I blocked that whole strike. It was hilarious on my part. My teammates were probably not too happy about that one. I'm going to be honest here. But... This thing's pretty fun, and I mean, it gets good reses because you get the, you know, blocked damage. So, yeah, and, oh, good god, I just died in the gameplay, like, twice. Jeez. Okay. Ashen Wake. This is the Crucible Sunbreaker Hipster. Now, since sticky grenades aren't as good as thermite grenades, they still proclaim to be using this thing because sticky grenades are still good, which, you know, they're not as good anymore compared to D1, where they used to one-shot. But the insta explosion is pretty fun. And I mean, watching people explode instantly after you put one hand cannon shot into them is like, it's it's hilarious. They're just, they, they are awestruck. They don't even know what hit them. It's pretty funny. But give it a try, honestly. It's a pretty fun exotic. So, yeah. Worm God's Caress. These are the people that like punching too much and get the increased punch damage, like times five, and they just go to town. They go pow, pow. They are punching things up and down, left and right, upside down, right side up. They're going crazy. Or these are the people that watch True Vanguard's thing about um, throwing hammers and are tempted to do that in the Crucible. Chances are it's not working because that's really hard to do. I've tried. It's very difficult. So, yeah. Next up, ACD slash zero feedback fence. Unlike one I mask players, these are the people that are really good in the Crucible. I cannot tell you a time where I've seen an ACD feedback fence in the Crucible, and they're not on top of the leaderboard, like, going insane, 10, 20 kill streaks. Like, you don't see them very often, but these guys will be the bane of your existence if they're in your lobby and against you. You're done. Like, I'm sorry, but any guy I've seen this is not even on bottom tree striker. They're on, like, Sentinel or something. And they're just racking it up. They are killing you up and down. Their aim is phenomenal. I don't know. These guys are wicked good at the game. You know? Next up, Doomfang Pauldrons. These are the guys that play Sentinel like it's their job. They are committed to being Captain America. And I respect that. Because you know what? That's a good subclass to play. Bungie still needs some registration fixes, but uh, that's about it. You know, if you know my man Dual Blades from the streams or some of the videos he makes on the occasion, he plays Sentinel this way, and he does he does work. You know, he he puts in work. Oh boy, Synthoseps. Here we go. Synthoseps are the exotic that you just kind of use. Like, let's just say you're looking at your build of armor, and you're saying, I don't have an exotic, but I don't know what to put on. The go-to for Titans is Synthoseps. Why? Because it's just a straight upgrade over other stuff. Like, if you really have no point in what you're using, like, might as well use this. Like, you're not going for a special build. Just increase melee damage and increase melee range. It's, it's a win-win. There's nothing wrong with the exotic. And the ornament's cool. But you do need to match your shader since the ornament doesn't have shader compatibility. Which is stupid, by the way. Chess piece. No, this isn't a chess piece. Ursa Furiosa. These are the middle tree titans that sit and block supers in the crucible. Or they block hive ogres. And that's all they do. They actually don't attack 90% of the time. They're pretty much just blocking because it's funny. Yes, I've done this before. I have died. It's funny and not funny at the same time because when you die, your teammates are like, <sighs> you know, you know, you know. Just wipe my nose on it. Because that's why my voice sound muffled. A, Aeon safe. Aeon safe. Aeon safe. Aeon safe. Who even remembered this thing existed? Oh, wait. No one did. Nobody cares about this thing. All three Aeon exotics are like, you see someone with this exotic, they have no reason to be using it other than the fact that they're probably laughing their ass off using this and making people annoying or making people really annoyed because they're not using something more optimal or anything else like 
Let's move on to the crest of Alpha Lupi. It gives health on when you pop your barricade to you and your teammates. And I'm pretty sure it still gives an extra orb when you're super. So these are really good people. These people like to, you know, they care about their team. They keep it moving. They give the health. Like, you know, these are these are just overall good people. Not many people use this exotic, but it's a pretty it's pretty potent actually. Aptiomor rig. Aptiomor Actiomor rig. The only person using this is the person with the sweet business. Hands down. No way. Jose. Only one type of person using this. It's like basically mandatory to use this thing with Actium with sweet business anyway, so because it's awesome. Hallow Fireheart. This is your Sunbreaker Sunbreaker main who spams grenades so much in PvE and PvP that there's no space for anybody getting kills. Yes, that's right. These are the people that are lighting up every encounter in PvE, destroying everyone in PvP, not using their super, and just going it down. So, uh, yeah. Heart of Inmost Light. This is a meme loadout right here. You put on fusion grenades with Sunbreaker, pop a barricade, you got a one-shot fusion grenade. And these are the people that can't get their heads out of D1 with the one-shot fusion grenades. So they're doing this with all grenade mods, and they're throwing grenades with the one-shots, and everyone is like, what the? What? I don't. A bungee nerfed f fusion grenades and Destiny 2. Just kidding. There's an exotic for that. Yeah, this is really only done type of person for this. That's about it. Armamentarium. These are the guys that like throwing grenades that are not on Top Tree Striker and not on Hallow Fire Heart. Because Top Tree gives double grenades and Hallow Fire Heart gives infinite grenades. So yeah, this guy actually, for some reason I feel like Armamentarium Titans are always on double suppressors and if you're in the Crucible, you're never gonna have a super if they're against you. You just won't. In PvE, I don't know. I really don't see Armamentariums in PvE. It's just better stuff. Antaeus Wards. Do you even know how to spell Antaeus? I didn't think so, because I don't either. I had to look it up. But I mean, who uses this unless you're memeing? Like, blocking blade barrages, there's like a very, like, key timing to it. And half the time, it's really hard to make that timing. So I mean, you know, it's not that good, but it's pretty fun. Mark 44 standasides. Oh boy. This is the top tree striker titan that couldn't get kills with their regular shoulder charge with the insurmountable skull fort for the infinite and you know melees and now they're using this for the overshield because they couldn't get a kill and now they're going to get a kill because they were unkillable yeah that's about it it's just like um it's just like eternal warrior it's just these boots are not hideous peregrine greaves two types of people using this there is the pve player that looks for more damage with a shoulder charge than you'll ever know, like this guy's dealing trillions of damage. It's ridiculous. Or the PvP player that doesn't like supers and shoulder charges the hell out of them like it's their job. It's actually quite funny to watch people like get nuked by this type of stuff, you know? So yeah. Dune Marchers. These are just run-of-the-mill exotics. They're, there's nothing special about them to be honest, but not too many people use them because there's just better stuff out there or more compelling stuff. But I mean, these are pretty cool, and there's no stereotype because not a lot of people use this thing. I guess if you like punching a lot and sprinting a lot, I guess. Is that it? I guess. Lion Rampants. This is the person who hates regular lift with a burning passion and proclaims to it that it is the worst jump in the game, considering it is not. I, in my opinion, hunter jumps are the worst because you don't get as long and you just kind of, you go boop, boop, and that's it. Titan jumps, you last. So this person is probably not a Titan main, probably a Warlock or Hunter main who doesn't like the jump, and just spams because this, this Lion Rampant thing is... Oh, your, your jump lasts like an hour and a half, man. It's, you know... I mean, there's also the God-tier PvE players that are doing jumping puzzles. Like, they're just making the whole thing in, like, one go. It's pretty funny, actually. All right. Let's see. Who else forgot this one existed? Peacekeepers. You know the submachine gun exotic? Yeah, I know. I thought so. Nobody remembers what it is. Um, It's actually not too bad, like, on the submachine gun side. But if you're not using a submachine gun, there's no point. And double submachine gun is usually a, hor like, horrendous option. So, I mean, there's no point in using this. But 
I don't know. If you see someone using it, give them some respect because, I mean, nobody uses this thing. Also, I forgot it existed. So, I mean, chances are you probably did too, unless you main it. So, you know. So, um, wow. That's all the exotics, and I actually stayed in my time frame of about 15 minutes. I can't believe that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this was the first Destiny 2 stereotype video of the exotic weapons for Titan, exotic armors for Titans. I'll probably do one for Hunters and Warlocks, and probably do one for exotic weapons, and, you know, other stuff. Because that's fun, and, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, shameless plug stuff. Here we go. So, yeah, if you all enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, you know, all that stuff. And, um... Yeah, leave a comment. If you didn't if you liked it, like it, didn't like it, didn't like it, and tell me what I can improve in for the future in the comment section below. And without further ado Without that's not how you're supposed to do it. Well, with all that said, if you enjoy the video, do all that stuff. And have a good day.